This is, this is Underground Alpha. Friends, family, and fiends of Underground Opolis. If you haven't joined the Fiends of Underground Opolis group on discussion group on Facebook, you might ought to. There's a lot of stuff going on in there, and it's a, and I've been really great about keeping the freaking spam out. So far, so far, I probably just jinxed it. But just just a little reminder: Underground Opolis presents the ruckus at 21st in Germantown, the third. Thursday of every single month except this month. Just a little higher. <laughs> I will be in New York City and I'm not and putting on a show is the last thing probably going to be on my mind. <laughs> I'll be in my favorite place in the world. My favorite food, favorite bagels, favorite this, favorite pizza, favorite that. <laughs> oh, Underground Opus will probably not be on my mind at all. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but still go out to 21st in Germantown just because I'm not there. doesn't mean it's not a good time because it is there. The best bands are coming through and stopping in there. You love, love, you love live music and they're, they got fantastic food, fantastic drinks, 1481 South Shelby street, Louisville, Kentucky. The only one 21st in Germantown. Just Google it. It's so there's only one out there and you get all their information be sure to stop in. And I'm going to bring my guest right on before I start rambling again. Tell us who you are, where you're from. Hi, my name is Taylor Hart. I'm from Black Rock Candy. That's my band. And we're we're based out of Corona, California, which is like an hour east of Los Angeles. Um, and yeah, that's where we're from. Izzy, are you joining this? This is our my sister, our guitarist. Hey, y'all are sisters. That's awesome. Yes. Is Izzy is a shredder. She is. <laughs> what an odd Literally. time you just came. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Right. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay. Tell me about trouble. Um, so trouble is a, our latest release and it is it's such a fun song very energetic very chaotic a lot of um i i feel like when you listen to it you hear that like hard rock um you know just a good rock and roll but those melodies like that that's the part where it really kind of you just want to sing along and scream from the top of your lungs that's the energy you get from it so it's definitely one of my proudest songs um that we've released at this point really well, I mean, it's already got what thirty thousand views. The video does, oh, <laughs> and, it's streaming. and Spotify streaming too. Like it's been getting a good, good um, review. So it's it's good to to get that feedback. Uh, where did you make the video at? Um, it was a rage room in uh, L.A. It's called Break Room, and it's it's exactly what it says. Rage room. Like they, the people are so nice. The the room itself was so cool. It was like the like graffiti wall and everything. And um, we got to use our, our lighting in there. And, and our, our cinematographer was just amazing at this and just setting it up to look like, like, you know, as professional as possible with the space given, because it didn't look like that at the beginning. <laughs> so you got to make it, um, you know, fit whatever it needs. And the equipment being one, we bought equipment just to destroy for that video. So that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Like just mark Facebook marketplace, like 
the cheapest ones we could find. And you know what sucks is that they were actually, it was like really nice equipment. We felt so bad breaking it because I was like, dang, like this is, this is nice. Oh. <laughs> you didn't hit any Goodwills or anything? <laughs> I mean, we could have, but we wanted to look as authentic as possible, you know, like, like it was just our ins instruments and that we were like just going off, you know? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so the video's only been out, what, 14 days, maybe? Um, yeah, since, yeah, yeah, almost, almost 15 days. Um, hmm. um, yeah, because we released it September, September 15th. Yeah. And did you, did you do it all yourselves then? Uh, yeah, well, we we hired um, our, the director, her name's Allison, and uh, they she set up the, the crew and everything. So that was easy for us, you know, don't have to go too crazy. We didn't have extras or anything like that. So it was just us. Um, and yeah, we, we, we promoted it and um, have been just seeing, you know, pushing the, the promotions and everything. Um, but yeah, it's been good so far. Well, yeah, it has. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of numbers for yeah. a very short time. Congratulations, congratulations, and working with Pavement Entertainment as well. Yeah. That's a big, yeah. that's a really big step. And right. I, I'm really happy, really happy for you. How about Honey? Tell me about Honey. Hundred and thirteen thousand views. Yeah, that one. That one was. Um, <laughs> Oh, it was really low budget, actually. <laughs> we this one at a at a friend's, um, their, our friend's dad's house. So we were like, "Hey, can we film?" And he was like, "Oh my gosh, you want to use my house? Like, that's like, so exciting!" And he was like, "Yes, yes, whatever you need." Like, so he helped us set it up and everything. And they were just like, we got pizza. We made it like a whole day. And um, we were just surprised because so it was basically shot at a mobile home, like a senior. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, they're going to be so mad because we're like banging the drums and it's just loud. But they were all so excited because they knew we were filming. And so we, we, I think they got like one complaint, you know, but that's pretty good for an elderly home. Like, hey, like I thought the noise is going to be a big issue, but it was pretty good. Um, <laughs> well, they can't hear. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so like I hear something outside. It's eh, whatever. No. <laughs> It was, it was so fun though, and we set it up ourselves. Um, our director was Dylan, um, our previous bass player. So he was like wanting to he he wanted to go into a different like you know field. I guess I mean he's really young, but he was he wanted to try something out. And I was like, you know what? Like just just do our music video. So <laughs> he um, we I worked with him personally and. We worked on the video um, and set everything up ourselves. And so I, I, I'm really impressed with how it turned out considering, you know, it, it really was just, you know, like a backyard project. It was, it was fun though. You, can we expect a full length album to come out? Um, so we, I don't know if we're going to do a full album for this new project. It depends on the songs, to be honest. And we're still writing. So the songs will, you know, dictate, if we put out an album or not. Um, but our we have one album already released. We have it out. Okay. It's called Death Do Part. And so say it again. It's called Death Us Do Part. Like you know what okay. I mean. <laughs> but it's a little reversed. Um so yeah, it's it, it's a that was our first album. It's on Spotify and um on our website, um blackartcanny.com. Um but yeah, the, the so we're just kind of it was it was an amazing project. We're super proud of it. Um, but I think from that, <clears throat> we're learning, we learned so much from it. And so we're just kind of taking everything as um, this new project as, as it goes, you know, trying to make sure everything fits together. Do you have a band camp or anything? We do, but we don't post on it as often as oh. we But I know, I know, because uh, our main thing has been always been a Spotify and YouTube and Apple Music when, when it comes to our music. You know, so I'm posting on like Instagram and Facebook. Try to keep it as simple as possible. But I know we should get on it more with Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to bring I'm trying to bring brand band camp back, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we have we have our album on there, I think. Um just this new project I just haven't gotten a chance to put it on there. But it is it, we do have one. <laughs> do you have a, a favorite show you like to tell us about? Like TV show? 
No, a, a favorite show that you played. Oh, I was like TV show. You just say show. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, honestly, we've we've played so many great venues. I it's hard to like just say pick one, and every single well, one is different. But um, I know you've got a good story though. At least, but at least one good story. Well, okay, if you want a story, then I'll give you. I'll give you a good story. I mean, we had one at um, Canyon Lake. This is this is not even like an original show. This is a we do this show a lot to to just you know get honestly just to get paid, right? We we put ourselves out there and it's 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 a cover show. You know, I don't know if you're aware, but like cover bands, you know, that's where the money's at for for local bands, you know. Um, original shows, it's you don't get paid for that, unfortunately. So um, we definitely, that's how we started. We do cover shows. And so this one venue, we play all the time. It is by far one of my favorites to play. Um, and simply because it is extremely chaotic every single time. <laughs> um, there's always a story to come from this place. It's called Sports Stop. So shout out to Sports Stop because you guys are amazing and you guys know exactly who I'm talking about. I've met so many close friends from that place, like literal, like, like our followers. I've met so many good people from, from Sports Stop. And um, just to give you one story, this is one story of being there. Um, we, we had a, a private event and they, they bought the, they, they like hosted it. And at this, they took out the whole bar. Like, I don't know what it's called. They, planned it right and um it was just for that party and they hired us specifically and so we we show up and everything's going good first thing that goes off is someone's trying to take my microphone i'm like what the heck is going on like i'm like you can't take my mic she's like but i need it for the stripper and i was like stripper like we're at a sports bar <laughs> like what's happening and i'm like i'm sorry like i can't lend you my microphone she was like whatever so that was the first kind of like sign that I was like, okay, this is a crazy party. Not to mention it's a Halloween party. So people are getting crazy drunk and whatever, which is normal for that venue. Next thing you know, a bar fight starts to break out. And I haven't seen that at a show because usually everyone's just having a good time. Everyone's rocking out to the music, whatever, dancing. I see the bar fight. It gets so big, like huge. The bartenders get involved. Everyone's getting involved. Like stuff is being thrown. I'm like... We're still singing. I'm singing Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. And I'm just like, what is going on? And so eventually the bartenders yelled at us to stop because that's how chaotic it was with the music. So we stopped. The security guy, um, because we were under like we were, we were under 21, um, they escorted us out. They were like, you guys should leave. <laughs> so we left. We were standing outside. I was freaking out. I was probably like 19 at the time. I had a really, you know, I hadn't drank. And so I, I was just like, what is happening? And uh, yeah, it was just, it was crazy. And I, I will not forget that, that one gig because it was just, it, and I'm sure there was more that I, um, that happened. I don't even remember because it's always stuff like that. I'm, I'm sure I saw um, body parts <laughs> because <laughs> that kind of venue. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Did the stripper ever come out? Um, I didn't see, but my bass player and drummer who are guys saw it, and it was a guy stripper. <laughs> so <laughs> what, what happened was they were, so we were outside and, um, we were on a break or something and they, that's when they were doing the stripper. And so our drummer and bass player, they went to the bathroom and apparently it was happening right in front of the bathroom. So they're walking out to where we are and they're like, we just saw a stripper. And I was like, what? Like, this is crazy. I'm staying out here. I'm staying out here. Cause mind you, I'm like, I'm like still young. I'm like 19 and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely one of the craziest shows we've, we've had. Is there anything you want to plug in before we wrap it up? Start to run out of time here. Anything you go um, at all you want to discuss? We got a we got a few minutes left. Honestly, go listen to Trouble. Watch the music video; it's so good. I I'm so proud of it. Same thing with Honey; the music video is just incredible. Um, if you haven't listened to our first album, it's called Death of Part, and it's very like you know nostalgic kind of um, album. It's very uh, a lot of classic rock, but inspired by some newer stuff as well. Um, so yeah, just go listen to our music. That would be, that would be the best. And if you want to check out our, our website, blackrocane.com, if we're ever in your area, you can check out our shows listed on our website. So yeah. There were, there, 
there will be links to all these to the death do death us do part. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I say I say it right. There'll be okay. there'll be a link link to that album. There'll be links to the video to, to trouble and honey videos. There'll be links to blackrockcandy.com. Was it blackrockcandy.com? Yes, blackrockcandy.com. Just so simple. Oh. <laughs> They'll all be in the description. If you like this, if you like this show, you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe or follow button, how, how, wherever you're streaming at. That is all our time we have for now. Thank you for listening to Undergroundopolis. Remember, we do this every Wednesday night, bringing you new and exciting artists every week. Be sure to hit up their websites and social media and stream or download their music. If you like this show, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, any streaming platform, and leave us a review as well. I'm your host, Rob Lyon, signing off. <laughs>